Mike with Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Tiger by Cornhole Scenario. This is one of the new bags for the, for the 2025 season for Cornhole Scenario. And this, these set of bags, I want to give a shout out to Wags. He's one of the pro sponsored players from Cornhole Scenario. He sent these to me. Let me borrow them to get the review out to you guys. So shout out to Wags. Thank you for letting me get, let me borrow these real quick and, and get these reviewed. I will say on these bags, I actually have a, these bags reminded me a lot of the older Cat 2s. I have an older set of Cat 2s that, that I, I love. One of my favorite sets of bags. I still have these. It's one of the few sets of older bags that I've still kept around. Phenomenal bags. Love these. Love the way these feel. And, and this bag had a lot of similarities. It really, one, the design, right? It's, it's one of my favorite designs. I really do like this design that the Cornell Scenario has. It's just, there's just something about it that, that really stands out and pops for me. So the design reminded me of it, but the feel and the playability really reminded it. Slightly different slow side on these Tigers, but the rest of it is very similar to these old Cat 2s. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's break these Tigers down. I'll tell you everything about these. As always, we'll start with the materials. Slow side. This slow side is the, it's the same material you find on the the slow side of the all cornhole all slides it's the same slow side it's on the pro sniper but this is the other side of it this is the faster side of it the, the front the, the the pro sniper uses the back side of the material this is actually the front side of the material i call it a seven speed it plays about a seven but it does over time if you if you rough this up you dirty it up you beat it up it'll start to slow down and play closer to a six but most of the time it's going for the most of the life it's going to play about a seven speed six and a half seven speed it's it's very hole friendly you still have control with it for the speed it has it's a great for me it's a great slow side material for a fast bag. So this is kind of one of those fast, faster bags. If you like to play with speed, I think you're going to like this. For, for me, this is about as fast as I want to go on a slow side of material, but very hole friendly. It, it just drips in the hole really well. You get up near the hole, it's going to fall in. So seven speed on the slow side here, these Tigers. Fast side, this is that Cat 3 fast side, the Cat 2 fast side. It's the Pro Sniper Viper fast side material. Nine speed. It's great for push and collect and cleaning up messes, sliding the boarding conditions. We're looking about a Six and a half, seven speed on the slow, a nine on the fast side on these Tigers here. Template wise, it's a medium template bag. Medium amount of fill, it's it's maybe just slightly on the thin side. And I think it's because the fill in here is is 100% flat fill, which is what Cornell Scenario has used or most of the time. There, there, was a, there was a period where I think they used some different fill when they were... Cornell Scenario, there was a point in time where Cornell Scenario bags were being outsourced. There's a short period of time where they outsourced and the quality went down on it. As far as I know, when I understand, everything now is being back to be made in-house. So the quality that used to be... Because that was the one thing things about Cornell Scenario was it was a high-quality bag, handmade, high-quality bag. But you did, you did pay for that quality and then things get things kind of turned but now i think they're back to where they were it's back to being made in-house high quality there and and the bag does feel more like the old school cornell scenario bag so if you're familiar with the old school ones you had some of that it's one of those bags that transition period you didn't like and maybe you get turned away maybe you gotta kind of look back at them because i think they're going back to where they were the bags have that similar feel to them so the fill in here has that familiar flat fill that cornell scenario uses which gives the bag a, a great hand feel nice smooth fluid hand feel to it gives the bag a ton of forgiveness on there you've got flop here in this bag so it, it, it's got a fairly, fairly fair amount of flop to it it's not it's not the floppiest bag i've thrown but it's definitely more floppy than it is full which gives the bag a ton of forgiveness if you don't throw the flattest of bags, this is a this the flop here, the flat fill, the bag's gonna land and run fairly straight, true up the board, very little to no kick whatsoever in it. The bag has enough flop that it's very forgiving around the hole, which means if you're missing your landing zone left or right, as long as you get that corner to grab, it, it just get that corner over the hole, it'll grab and pull the, the bag back in. You'll see here as I'm throwing a lot of bags were grabbing, spinning, and coming back in. It, it, it's a very forgiving bag, and I think this is one of those bags for the players who who don't throw very consistent, who don't throw a, a, a great flat bag, your little, a little, you know, consistency control is your issue. This is a super forgiving bag, a bag that's going to, it's going to cover up a lot of mistakes and go in the hole, even if you're not perfect with your throw. These bags are also ACL stamps. You play an ACL events, you can throw these Tigers. Let's go ahead and jump in, talk more about playability on this. And it's a pretty straightforward bag. As you can see here, I'm just running bags in the hole, putting bags in, and put my four bags in, outscoring your opponent. And that's really what this bag's designed for. That's where this bag shines. You're just running bags. It does a phenomenal job. Like I said, you don't have to be perfect with it. You don't have to be the most accurate with it. If you get it up near the hole, it's going to go in. There is some control in the slow side. And you'll see here, there are a few times where I threw some blocks. I had to be a little more intentional trying to throw that higher arcing softer landing bag that's not my strength I'm, I'm not a high thrower i'm typically that normal to low throwing player for me to throw back like i guess i had to adjust my throw but it's not a hard bag to adjust to 
But you can throw, if you want to, you can you can throw a, a blocker up there. And especially if you get these bags beat up. Like I said, you beat them up, you start throwing quite a bit. This slow side will slow down a little bit and, and, and come to a little bit more control to it. But you throw a blocker up there. And if you do, I had no problem collecting them. There's plenty of speed on the fast side for collecting these bags. Even if you even if you leave one short, maybe you throw hit the dead spot and it stops in that level three, level four zone. Enough speed, you can hit the bag and just ride it all the way up. So the one thing I'll say on this, and, and, and I'm going to nitpick here on this. And, and if you watch my reviews at all, you know, Phil Wise... I tend to like more of a bead fill. I like a mix fill. I'm not a big fan of 100% flat fill, especially this flat disc fill that, that this bag has. But fast bags like this, these fast, faster bags are probably the one area, the one type of bag where I make exceptions for. Because when you when you add a more hole friendly fill, when you put beads in there, and, and the reason I say beads are more hole friendly is because you try to stack marbles on top of each other. They don't want to stack. If a marble's on top of the other one, the top one just wants to move until it falls down and they all reach that kind of that flat level ground surface and what happens is that when a bag's hanging on the hole those round beads are moving and as long as they're moving that bag is slowly moving and eventually drips in where when you have flat spots on the fill the flat sides they'll stack on top of you and they'll rest there and they're perfectly fine that way and you actually have to take something to hit it to get it to move again so, and that's where sometimes when you throw a bag up there and not enough speed it'll catch and stop and just sit there and the reason it sets is because that fill is, is content with where it is it, it needs another bag to come in or something to come in to hit it to get it moving again but with a bag like this, as long as you have enough speed up there, the, both these materials are very hole friendly. And you'll see here, as I mentioned, the bags will kind of catch, they'll spin with enough speed, and they drip right back in. If I did leave a bag hanging, which wasn't that often, but if I did, it wasn't hard to go get. You know, the next bag coming in, clip it, would take it in. I didn't have to get super aggressive. Occasionally, I, I think I threw a couple of airmail drags here early on when I was doing these, but those were probably bags that maybe weren't weren't really hanging. There were bags that I just missed and they just happened to stop and hadn't just barely over the hole so I could go get. But if there was a bag hanging, it wasn't that hard to go get. And again, I'm really nitpicking here and I'm only bringing it up to say, to, 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 to say for those of you who watch my review, say, hey, you don't usually like flat fills. Why did you not really give it that a negative thing? And then that's because I think for this style of bag, for the way the bag's designed, I think the fill fits perfectly in there. I have no problem with the type of fill. Uh, that that Cornell Center using this bag, uh, it gives the bag as I mentioned, it gives the bag a wonderful and an incredible hand feel. I love the way the bag feels. If hand feels important to you, I think you're going to love the way these tigers feel. So all in all, I, I have no issues with it. I mean, if that's if that's the biggest complaint I have with the bag, then it's not really an issue whatsoever. Which leads me into availability on these at Cornell Scenario's website, cornholescenario.com. Now, here's probably my biggest gripe. It's always been my biggest complaint with Cornell Scenario is the pricing. They've always been at the higher end of pricing. That being said, their pricing is starting to come down. These bags used to be, I mean, used to be you go to corner center you're paying 150 200 bucks upwards of that for sets of bags and these were 123 49 on their website right now and the fact that these were available as the recording this review i went to look they were available on the site which is another thing the corner scenario was was tough to get and, and and it's not really their fault they were popular bags were selling out it was hard to get bags you had to wait for drops or releases or even back before them you had to put an order in and wait nine months 12 months for for them to make the set they had a long waiting list they're 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 now they now have bags in stock on the website so if you haven't checked with them recently go to cornerstone.com they've got bags in stock not all their bags they have bags in stock these are 123.49 it was 12 dollars shipping so one 35 49 shipped to you it's at the higher price point of bags it is not the most expensive there are more expensive bags out there uh, but if, you, if you've got the funds you like the sound of this bag you want to try them i don't think you're gonna be disappointed in them I, I really do recommend checking these tigers out if you don't like the price point you wait a bit you probably find some used find somebody who's selling a set used or trade a set for them if you want you can get them at a little bit cheaper price point that way if you don't mind buying used love the way these tigers played if you've thrown these i'd love to hear your thoughts on them drop a comment down below let me know what you like what you don't like about them I'll Always love hearing your guys' opinions. As always, I thank you so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.